Okay, so there's Mr. GoPro guy, Mr. YouTube guy. I've been working all morning. I need a snack. Yeah, yeah. Does this red light mean it's going, or does that mean the battery's dying? Okay. So today we're at Maple Grove Raceway Park, one of the nicest tracks uh, that I've personally been to. Very pretty here. Lots of green grass, green trees. Track facility's really nice. Um, we got two cars today. We brought the OG Fireball car. See Javi and our buddy Joel's working on over there. And we got the tried and true MPK hammer that won the first couple of events. So um, today we're gonna pull double duty with these. Uh, I'm gonna run the red car in Outlaw Big Tire and I'm gonna run the gray car in the Invitational. Uh, same thing, it's, we've been running that in, so that's no different. Um, we're just trying to get data on both cars. Uh, the motor placement's a little bit different with the red car and I just wanna see how it works. Uh, we haven't had it on a no prep race track this year. We've only we've only done some street stuff with it. Um, so well, they're gonna see uh, the little test passes. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, we've been testing it for this. So we went to. You guys are gonna see, um, or probably have already seen by the time you see this, a uh, a test session that we that we did last week at Atco, New Jersey, with the red car, just trying to get it dialed in to get it close for this. So um, yeah. Be pretty cool. Uh, the cars are really similar now. The cars are real similar now. I think the red car is maybe 15 pounds heavier than the gray car, which I don't think it'll make that much of a difference. We did put the big blower on the red car, and um, that's about all we had to change. We really didn't change much else. So I'm gonna take you guys around the pits, go show you the racetrack because I haven't seen it yet, so I'm gonna go look at it. So Colton and I are gonna go take the golf cart go on a little journey but both these bullets are ready we had to weld up the header we broke the o2 sensor tube that little tube right there on this car and the other car actually so we had to have those off uh last night we had to take both the headers off and do some welding so i got something to add to your conversation okay i want to hear it what do you got what else do you got to say uh people don't really know me yet they know what's your name uh, Cole Eton. Cole Eton. And or Colton Richardson. And, and Colton is the behind the scenes guy that does all of my YouTube stuff. He does a lot of social media. Uh, sometimes Colton will post as me occasionally, but not very often. Not very often. But he does do it sometimes. Uh, answering, answering some of your questions and stuff like that. So, um, But I do see most of everything. It's a, lot to, it's a lot to keep up with for one person. Yeah, yeah, no doubt. I can't even do it myself. That's why I got you. But the more they get to know me, the more they'll realize how big of a smart ass I am. You are a smart ass. So, Sometimes you're even a dumbass. I mean, they're roasting me, they're roasting me right now on this, <laughs> this little tire video. So. Yeah, I know. I saw him on there saying that he must have said something smart ass about not plugging the hole or something. Yeah, we found a nail in it. I was yeah. like, hey, babe, we don't need to fix that. Yeah, I know. Like, Let's show that. everybody. Look at the staging lanes here. Staging lanes here are badass. Uh, I don't know, just again, it's personal preference. There's my buddy Sam. Hey Sam, what's up hey, buddy? <laughs> um, yeah, so staging lanes are pretty cool. Um, this place will be packed here in a few hours. There's gonna be more people here than you could think of. I heard that the online ticket sales here were off the hook, uh, which means the event is going to be good. Uh, so that's what we like to see. We like to pack this place. And I'll just kind of give you a idea of how crazy it would be to pack this place. Look at all these stands. There is so many stands. I mean, you know, this thing holds NHRA uh, national events. So, you know, if we pack this place, we're doing something. So I hope we do. Uh, I came up here really to check the racetrack out. So they scraped the racetrack. They scraped the no prep racetrack. I'm going to say that again. They scraped the no prep racetrack because it sounds funny when I say that. <laughs> so they unprepped the no prep racetrack. Yeah, it's pretty bare. Yeah, it's not terrible, but they scraped it. It's gonna, it'll come around pretty quick. It doesn't look like they washed it. There's not a lot of soap residue on it. Um, yeah. Yeah, so it's not terrible. Let's see if this way looks right. What do you think, Scott? 
again. They want me to win. Why do they want me to win? <laughs> you just want them to drag it a few weeks ago. This is I, here's good. I did not tell them to drag it. Where you're putting words in my mouth. What did I did you not say? say drag this racetrack. I did not say that. No, I never said drag the racetrack. I said, oh, here, let me let me ask y'all something. I'm glad this is on. This is great. He's getting all away from that. What are you moving no, on? No, no, no. He's like, oh, no. I'm going to ask over here. So, if you go, if, when you no prep race, what do you expect at a no prep race track? When you go to no, when you go to a no prep race, what is the definition of no prep? No prep. Don't do, don't do anything really. Don't touch the racetrack. A, a lot so of does the that places. Mean don't scrape the racetrack. Don't wash the racetrack. I mean, I see both sides of it. Because you go to some racetracks that are, if you don't do anything to it. Yeah. A SG big tire car barely can get down it because it's so sticky. The SGMP probably would have been that. Way. Yeah. I yeah. mean, I see yeah. both sides. Of yeah. It. Uh, if you go to a racetrack and you get there and it's not sticky and it's not dirty, yeah, I would say do nothing to it. Yeah. Let's race. Yeah, yeah. But then I go to like winter meltdown. Yeah. To where they take it down to nothing. Yeah, it's dangerous. And it is, but I don't know why, but it's exciting. I like it. Yeah. No, I know you're gonna go down it every time. That's right. So here was here's my here's my rebuttal to that. So I feel like. And, and, and this is not you, you know this, what I'm getting ready to say, but I feel like they they take the, they, they scrape it and they dumb it down for the, for the, for the I'm gonna use this slower guys to make it in a more even playing field, right? Like the, I believe that is the point of that, correct? Mm -hmm. I okay. feel like that, yeah. Makes for better team. Cor well, maybe that's it, okay. But let's just say it's because the slower guys have a better chance. But do the slower guys have a better chance? If you scrape and give them a bald race track, I feel like you're, you're and I and I said this the other day. I said I wish somebody would go interview those guys and go, hey. And I don't know because you need to be offensive to whoever you went to and said, hey, you're a slower guy. I don't know who that guy is, but if you go to a slower guy yeah. and you go, hey, buddy, do you want this racetrack bald to where you have the possibility of crashing your car or whatever the case is? One of those guys it can, can be say. a lot harder to turn your car down than a lower horsepower car, though, too. To turn it down? To turn it down sure. to get down yeah. that bald I'll racetrack. The sure. Good, the good sales so, are still going to. The, right, the guys that put in the work and have the data. I mean, the, the guys who the yeah, guys can manage. Test, the guy that, guys that know how to run their yeah. car are always going to be faster yeah. than the guys that don't. Somebody on the keyboard for it. Yeah. So, oddly enough, they thought that this was too short. At one point in time, it's like, they, again, they, they run national HRA events here, and I don't know, they, I think at one point in time they had top fuel cars here. So, I guess they extended it. The way they did it. This is the crazy part. I want to show everybody because you don't see this very often. So there's a road that goes through the shutdown. So when the race starts, they slide these gates back. They block traffic both ways. And then there's your sand trap all the way at the end down there. Another mile down there. Another mile. Yeah, that's what it feels <laughs> like. But it's a good thousand yards probably. Yeah, probably. So it's pretty cool. It's crazy. It is. Kind so of this. Cool. So look. So railroad things drop on both sides stops traffic they slide these open that way if a car gets in trouble and has to use the big end they're able to do it still and then the round stops they open they close the gate back up open the deals back up traffic goes back here they got their own uh gate crew if you will yeah it's crazy uh scales are right here in this little hut so you gotta wait here every round don't forget if you happen to be the one to push them back cars which might be a problem because in my honest opinion it's borderline stupid to try to race two cars at a racetrack um but we're going to try to do it we'll see what happens see what happens stay tuned <laughs> stay tuned
What? And if you break the driver's leg, you won't be able to drive. Well, that would have been Javi's fault. Nope. Because he was doing this. No. Nope. No. Nope. No, sir. All right, so sorry. Okay. What uh, what we got going? Okay, so we are grudge racing round one. We're racing Murder Nova for a grudge race. And then we got to hustle and get back to the red car and throw it in line for a grudge race. So, that, are we grudging whoever? Or? Well, I think we're grudging Chuck, maybe? I don't really know. I told Javi, go find us a race. I didn't care who it was. Okay. Didn't matter. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. We'll be hustling. We'll be hustling. What do you Tonight, call that? Double, double duty? Double duty, maybe. Okay, so that was first round grudge with Sean. He is back there somewhere. We both made pretty good passes. I think we both got loose on the big end. Um, hard to say, we were getting after it pretty good because the track looked really good. So it doesn't really surprise me. So we're gonna hustle as fast as we can, get this thing back. I'm gonna jump in the red car, try to make a pass, see if we can double duty this deal. We'll see what happens. Four lane, but I'm scared. 
better four legs than he is at putting up generators. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Bobby, give me a little rundown. Rundown. I want a little rundown of just the chaos. Chaos. So uh, everybody always knows right now it's two cars. It's a lot of work for me just in the shop. Two cars. But he said, "Hey, man, am I running two cars this week?" I said, "Man, I'd love it. It's twice the data. We can, you know, we can try to pick up, try to." You know, some of these teams, like Lizzie and Ty, they got the same combos and shit, so you know what I mean? They, uh, they, sh they share data. They say they know. They do. Uh, so, uh, so yeah, we load them back up. DMC, then the boys Dennis and the boys at DMC, they fished the wing, did some, made an MPK legal, went and tested ACO. Probably not the best test session in the world, but we made some headway. Uh, started going to the racetrack, coming here, and I was like, man, what the fuck am I gonna do? Like, there's not enough of us. So you do a lot of work. Michael Bean does work. He's not a mechanic, so the only person I'd call is my boy Joel. You know, my boy. Rest in peace, Blake Cop, dude. Me Cop. Like, that's that's his boy, man. That's his best friend. So good friend of mine. So that's why he's here. I called in, called in the reinforcements. He put, he drove in on the old paddy wagon this morning. And he's here, man. I gave him the rundown. He's so lashing the valves. He's doing everything. So uh, made a good run on this. This one fast down low. Uh, in the middle, lost the tire. Then, uh, so that was all right. Run, we won. Ran up, went a chuck with the red car. Uh, so we got it in the in the beams. Dude, it went straight as an arrow. So just like old times. So, By the way, Joel. Joel, say hi to the you going? You're killing it, bro. But uh, we just uh, about to go up for test hit too. We'll see how it rolls. See how it rolls. driving down here and I said to the camera I said I think the red car is going to be in the invitational tomorrow uh, man I don't know <laughs> okay here we go <laughs> I told you I told you to think man, about it. I <laughs> what's crazy is how just stuck to the track that thing is yeah. and fucking straight as an arrow yeah I mean doesn't yeah. move nothing Double duty, how did you feel? We, I mean, we made a, made a run against Jeff and then pretty much Chuck right after that. Yeah, I mean, for double duty, it's a little bit nerve wracking. I get nervous that it's gonna be hard on you guys because everybody's gonna get cars to different places and get cars back and get me back to the front in a timely manner. But I would say it all worked out good. Do we it. made all of our passes with time to spare. All four runs were good. Picked, and both cars, uh, both cars picked up on their second runs. Right. So we made it work. We made it work. It's the, 
it's a success. Now what gets crazy is tomorrow during the elimination. Up again? Uh, I don't think we need to do that. Okay. Because we got time. Okay. This, hey. Huh? Your car now. No, it ain't. Get in there, son. Big tire, we got to buy Joel. Been, it's been uh, <clears throat> just killing it all, all he's around. Been killing it all the way around, but he uh, he went and drew for me while I was at this driver's meeting. He got me a buy run.
We got our inner work cut out for us. But we almost done. The way I look at it, we got three more rounds. Hey, it's double duty marketing. Yeah. It's only what? <laughs> it's only 12 more shoots. <laughs> well, now, yeah. Oh, you're right. No. Three times four would be 12. Two. But that's it. But we're not even at. Yeah. Are you ready? Dead. 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 Dead.